I'm Hugh, and in this lesson I'll show you how to make mouse menus context-sensitive so they only pop up when you right-click specific controls, and then run different functions according to which menu item is clicked. I'm going to add this mouse menu to my application. If you've been following this series, you know that I've been programming a useful tool that lets me drag documents or programs from the Windows File Explorer onto a form and create buttons and icons for each of them. And when I want to run a program or load a document, I just click a button. If you haven't been following this series, click the playlist link down below to find out how to create your own launchpad from scratch. Adding buttons is all well and good, but I now want to be able to delete buttons too, or move buttons to different positions. And that's where the mouse menu comes in. In my new version, I can right-click a button and use the mouse menu to delete it, and it prompts me to confirm that, and if I say yes, it removes the button. And I can also select other menu items to move a button to the left or to the right. So, how do I create this menu? Let's find out. This is a Windows Forms project. First, I need to add a context menu strip onto it, and it docks down here. And this is what's going to provide my mouse menu. So I give it the name, pop-up menu. Then I need to add some menu items. To do that, I select the pop-up menu and click its items collection. And I want to add three menu items. So let me do that now. One, two, three. And I'll rename them quickly. First one will be Dell menu item. The other two are quickly renamed to move left menu item and move right menu item. And let me edit their text too, so I'll call them delete, move left and move right. I'll do that quickly. So there you are, that's my menu definition. Uh, but the menu is not yet attached to any controls. Now, if I had controls on this form, I could attach the context menu to the control. Let me show you how to do that. So let me drag a button onto the form. And now I want this button to have that context menu. So I go to the properties panel and I set the buttons context menu. Menu strip, context menu strip to pop up menu. Now, if I run this, and I right click the button and there's my menu strip. But if I right click the uh, anywhere else in the form, then it doesn't pop up. That's simple enough if I put the buttons on the form before compiling my program, but that's not what I want to do. In my application launch pad, the buttons are created at runtime when I drag files from the Windows File Explorer onto my form. So how can I attach the mouse menu to those buttons? Let's take a look at my launch pad code to see how that's done. First off, when I drag a file onto the form and create a button for launching it, I set its context menu strip property down here. So this one now is set to the pop-up menu control that I created earlier. Now, if you're wondering what all this other code here does, well, that's all been explained in previous videos. So use the playlist to watch them in order. Now, the effect of all this is that when the user right clicks a button, the mouse menu pops up. The next thing I have to do is get something to happen when one of the menu items is clicked. First of all, I've had to add an event handler to handle that, and that is up here, you can see in the form one constructor, and I've added this event handler here. And let's go and see what that actually does. I've explained again how to add event handlers in earlier videos. Now here's the code I've actually written pop-up menu underscore item clicked. Since this mouse menu can pop up over any button on the form, the first thing I've had to do is identify the actual button that was right-clicked. The menu has a source control property that identifies the control 
that was clicked, and so I cast this to a button and assign it to the BTN variable. The string menu item here is only used in case I need to display this error message. Now, all I have to do now is to identify the menu item that was clicked. The tool strip item clicked event args object E, that's uh, this argument up here. Well, that provides me with some uh, useful information. Here, the clicked item property is what I need. I just compare that one by one with actual menu items until I find a match. And when I find a match, I pass the button, that's the button that was selected at the time the mouse menu popped up to one of these methods. Now let's see what they do. If I go to, or if I have a preview in this case, peek the definition of delete BTN, and that's the code that's going to run if the user selected delete from the mouse menu. Well, it checks to see if the selected button is valid, which it certainly should be, but anyway, it's worth being absolutely sure. I do that using the contains method of the flow panels collection of controls, and I remove it with its remove method. Just in case the user clicked delete by accident, I've also added a message box to confirm before deleting the button. Only if the yes button is clicked is the button deleted. So look at the other items here on the menu, move left and move right. Again, I'll just use Visual Studio's peak definition to pop up the code that runs. Now this one here, is it's pretty simple. It just changes the index of the selected button by subtracting one to move left, or if you look at the mouse right button, it adds one to move right. The controls get child index and set child index. Uh, let me find and change the index values. And I've just added these simple tests to make sure that I'm not trying to move the button to some meaningless position. So here on move right, I check that I'm not trying to move it uh, beyond the rightmost count of the controls. And obviously on the move left, I shouldn't uh, move it beyond the leftmost control. Well, let me show you this in action if I run it. And now I'll drag on some files selected in the Explorer. And if I want to move one left, so I pick this one right at the end, the one begins with zero, two, right click, move left, and you can see it moves left in the order, or if I, let's do this one, zero, three, move right, and it moves right, and if I want to delete it, delete, prompt here, do I really want to delete it? Yes, so watch what happens to zero, three, and there it goes. And there you are. That's how to add a mouse menu that pops up only over specific controls, even when, as in this case, those controls are created at runtime. So now I've programmed a drag and drop application launchpad that can save multiple program groups to disk and restore them using this recently opened file menu. I just realized that it would also be really useful not only to be able to open individual files, but also to log on to a specific directory, that is, drag a folder onto my form and click its icon to open it in the File Explorer. But how can I do that? I'll explain how you can do that in the next lesson. To be sure that you don't miss any lessons, subscribe to my channel and click the bell. And I'll see you again soon.